Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Red again, back in the kitchen. Today, I'll be showing you how to cook plantain. Well, us Caribbeans call it plantain, Africans call it plantain, and white people call it a banana. Sorry, Nan, but hey, yeah, I'm not racist. My Nan's white, by the way. But yeah, we'll be in the kitchen, and I'll be showing you how to cook plantain. So guys, if it's your first time um, trying to cook plantain, or if you're shopping for plantain because you want to try something new, you want to get it when it's ripe. So this is looking pretty ripe and it feels really soft. Um, sometimes you get them yellowy and they feel quite firm. That is nowhere near ripe. Um, the blacker the better. So this is ripe, but it could be it could be a little darker for me because I like my plantain sweet. Things you'll need to cook your plantain, well the way I'm doing it, I'm frying mine. Um, you can boil it, you can roast it too. I'm not sure if you can grill it though guys. So, but yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how to fry it, the fry method. The only thing you'll need is oil and a pan. Okay, so first you wanna start with pouring oil into a pan. You want enough oil in the pan to cover the planting. Um, if you're new to cooking, I would say start on the back hob because once the oil starts popping, it's going to bun up you, yeah? So start on the back one if you're new to it anyway. So yeah, just leave that to warm up. And I left it on the medium high, so five. Um, yeah, let me show you how to cut this planting. You can either do it circles or shreds I like circles but I'll show you both methods so you just want to peel your plantain just peel the skin off no woman no cry no woman no cry oh, come on. there we go yeah man okay so that's how a plant should look it's from the same family as bananas, so yeah, they're very similar. You can mistake a banana for a plantain. And you, all right, so I'll just cut the ends off. And usually I prefer my plantain like this, circles, because you get more of them. And the sweeter it is, it's like a little treat. Yeah, see me. I do half and half, so. Yeah, there'll be circles. Okay. And then the other one is shreds. So, I'm not too keen on the shreds, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I don't never get the shred right. I don't know. And then usually you're just left with one big ass piece there. So yeah, just cut that in half. And then put that to one side. And yeah, wait until your oil's heated up and then you can begin. So that now that your pan's hot, yeah, you just want to just pop the plant in. And I'll give you guys one word of advice, yeah. <laughs> your back on planting yeah because once you turn your back and turn back round the planting's done fun yeah so make sure you keep an eye on it because planting don't wait around for nobody and it should only take a few minutes man I think so planting should take around one to two minutes to cook and you just want to turn them over so they get cooked on both sides and make sure you keep an eye on it don't turn your back on it I'll remind you again don't turn your back on the planting because planting don't like people and it'll just go it'll turn black on you and that so yeah just keep watching it and just keep stirring it 
and then you want them to go a nice briny gold you want them like a golden color but like i was saying the darker the planting the um the sweeter it will be so now my planting is ready to remove that's how i like my planting it's not burnt it's goldeny and you want it the golden color and the darker the planting the sweeter it will be so i'm just getting out the last batch of my planting And remember the darker the plant in the sweeter the sweeter it will be. But you don't want it burnt. There's a fine line. And then I always just give my plant in anytime I'm cooking fried food, I just give it a little little tap down to absorb all the excess oil. Because you don't want to be taking in too much oil because black people's diet have the having high blood pressure in there. Yeah. So that's how your fried plantain should look like. And you can add a bit of salt to it if salt should add it thing. So that's how your plantain should look. It shouldn't look too burnt or anything. If it's burnt, then you failed. But hey, if you fail, you can always try again, man. You ain't got nothing to lose. But um, yeah, I would say just definitely keep an eye on it. And um, yeah. So if you like the video, guys, like and subscribe. Hit the comments below. I will be doing some more cook vids. Um, I'm going through some little change. I'm doing bare vids right now. I don't know why. Um, yeah. But yeah. Um, I'll be, I think my next dish might be oxtail or goat. So yeah, I'll show you what's popping with that soon. Over and out.